Have you, have you synced more? Have you synced more air? <laughs> Can you hear your commander just choking to death? Hi, it's Abel1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox One and today I've got a fun video for you. This is one of my uh, passion projects that I really do love. My Viper Mark IV, heavily armoured, B-rated, monster of a uh, armour hull build. Everything's double braced, everything's got a huge integrity. It's got two big uh, module reinforcements, well I say big, but big for the module slots you've got on a Viper. It's got 2000 armour. Uh, it's got 160 odd strength by weave that bounces up and down like a yo-yo. It's great fun. It's a fun, silly, stupid ship. And I love getting this thing out at CGs. I love bringing this thing up to shinny and fighting. Uh, me and Al had a whale of a time trying to fight a Corvette 2v1 in, in these. Oh, it was so much fun. His um, Vulture, which he's came really good with the PAs on and the flight assist off flying in. Um, <laughs> and my little Viper 4 versus a Corvette was so much fun. I also fought Gladius's Viper Mark III which was an absolute nightmare for me because trying to hit something that small with PAs and I got a four shell cannon and a PA on this and two rail guns. Trying to hit Gladius and Al was an absolute friggin nightmare for me. So difficult. Um, I have recently just resolved the power issue I was having I actually toned down the rail guns a little bit so I had a bit more power um, so I didn't have to turn my life support off um, <laughs> when I had my weapons drawn because uh, after my fight with Gladius lasted longer than 15 minutes which is a bit of a problem when I've only got 15 minutes of air um, but you'll see what happens later in the video so basically I'm going to bounce between the two fights as I just talk over them they were both incredibly fun for different reasons the fight with Gladius lasted forever and was ridiculously tough to hit him. Um, but my little um, Mark IV held up really well. And the fight with Al was a banging, like, just hilarious, like, stood, two people stood toe-to-toe -to -toe just smashing each other. It was the most aggressive fight I've ever had in Elite Dangerous. It was just like knock down, stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and just bash each other. It was great fun. Um, we both remarkably hit quite a lot of our PA shots. Um, and all credit to Al, he hit PA shots despite the fact my short four shell cannon was knocking him all over the place. Um, he is getting really, really good at um, PAing people in that um, Vulture. He's absolutely loving the Vulture. He's been having 1v1s with FDLs. He's been um, taking on all comers in it. <laughs> He's been attacking Corvettes in it, having a whale of a time just having fun um, and I do really feel sorry for some of the more try hardy players in Elite Dangerous because they just won't get out of their Matter FDLs and have fun in stupid stuff like this um, to me I, you know, I would love to go to a tournament and in Viper Falls I would love to have fun flying small silly stuff um, I have no interest in like fighting in FDLs um, I don't like FDLs. They don't do anything for me. Um, I, you know, I like small, weak ships um, for the fun. Um, and I also have a very weird design philosophy. I do like a, a chunky little build that will just ram the crap out of things. Um, and, you know, I mean, I've fought FDLs in this, um, but it's designed to have fun and just be silly not actually um you know take the game too seriously and uh, that's what i love and a lot of us do there's a lot of people that come on go to the cg prat around in small ships have a load of fun and then you get a group come, turns up and they like bring a wing of fdls etc or somebody gets out a missile mamba with a missive and you'll see the like begrudgingly we'll all get in our shield tanks and we're going mmm, this is the end of the fun because it is it's the end of the fun because you know I would much rather spend the entire evening in this thing than like you know switch to an FDL or a Mamba um, cause, you know people moan at me for my gimbaled Mamba but honestly I would much rather fight you in my plasma 
Mark IV uh, Viper <laughs> than I would in, in my uh, Mamba. But I can't because somebody will bring in the Sith and Scramble Spectrum and um, missiles and I'll be dead in moments. This thing becomes a coffin once you're exposed to that sort of thing. But if I can pick my moments, pick my fights, I can have a whale of a time in this thing. And, uh, you know, I love the TOC guys because they're like us, they love the smalls. I love the Kimo Crew guys because they're like us, they love the smalls. Um, you know, there's a lot of people in this game who don't feel that the best way to play the game is to always be in the most try-hardy stuff. You know, the best way to play this game is to have fun. And a lot of that fun is taking risks and doing silly stuff. Um, well, it is for me anyway. Um, everyone's different. I don't begrudge the tryhards for being tryhards. They, you know, if that's what they want to fly, go ahead, fly it. Fly your metal lances all day. You know, <laughs> it's, it's totally down to you. Um, you know, and when you do fly your metal lances and when you do fly your tryhardy stuff, I will get out of this ship because there's no way I can compete with you when I'm in this. Um, but for me. I much prefer being in this to being in the members that the tryhards complain about me using. But, you know, it's like, what else am I going to do to compete with you guys than fly a Scramble Spectrum Mamba? It counters you. What else am I going to do other than fly the Ramba, a frag Ramba that can dump almost as much damage on you as I can on a, you know, I can frag Ram is about equivalent to a plasma Ram. You know, I had this problem, like no oxygen left. What do I do? I, you know, I think I try and get a synth off, but I don't think Gladys is going to let me. Um, you know, if he hits me, it cancels the synth. So there's nothing. That's not going to work. So that's not going to work. Well, I'm going to have to put my weapons away and just ram him, because otherwise I'm going to suffocate. <laughs> uh, and luckily for me. Uh, my ram is probably my most effective weapon in this thing against the Viper Mark III. So it's just going to be a matter of lining it up and hitting it. Uh, which is actually a bit awkward. Because you use the uranium reticles to actually line up rams. So I'm trying to ram some out any reticle. is actually not that easy. But got away with it. And I'll leave you with a bit of clip with Al and say 07 to Al. It was an awesome fight. A lot of fun. And I'll leave you with that glass clip. Yeah, got me. 